Well, let's uh, get back to work on this guy. Uh, had a great birthday party yesterday, so now it's time to work. Okay, I'm going to remove this uh, loincloth because I need to work on behind it and I need to work on the groin area. Since this thing is blowing up a little bit, a little bit of the uh, groin area is exposed and this would have been wrapped in the loincloth which would have gone underneath up and over a belt and down in front which is what this is. So now I gotta sculpt that part of it. And so I'm gonna put this aside and do that. crevices that go clear back behind the leg between the loincloth and the leg. You have to fill all that in so that it, it's rounded and dished so that they can clean it out real easy. If they have to dig investment, which is the uh, ceramic mold material that they uh, make the uh, mold of, the uh, wax, if they have to dig out the ceramic m material, it takes time and costs you money. So by making deep undercuts uh, easy to clean uh, saves you money in the long run when you're casting in bronze. Believe me, any even a spot of mold will show up like a sore thumb in a finished bronze. You have to be able to clean all that mold material out and if you can't do it in a real quick manner, you're going to have to take a long time to do it and it's going to cost you money. So that's what I'm doing is saving not only myself but the client money because whatever it costs me I have to pass on to the person buying my bronze. Okay what I'm doing is this uh, wine cloth is away from the body a little too far I want to bring it in closer and it won't stay there so um, what I'm doing is I took the liner from a uh, bottle cap Diet Dr. Pepper bottle cap actually and I'm putting a long screw through the uh, top of it this acts as a washer and then I'm going to see if this will work I don't know if it will but I'm going to put this whoop, drop the screw I tell you, as clumsy as I am, it's amazing I do anything. And now I'm going to put it about halfway where I want it. Try to drive it in. It'd be helpful if I was a little more coordinated. And that holds the uh, cloth in. Then what I can do is just cut the excess of the uh, washer or the plastic away and then I just fill that uh, in with clay.
be able to do today because I've got uh, some artist friends here. We're uh, thinking about putting a workshop on here in my studio, and uh, we're in the back here uh, trying to figure out uh, how we're going to set this up. And uh, if any of you out there in the world want to fly into Annis, Montana sometime in the future, uh, we will be setting up uh, workshops with uh, myself and uh, uh, a couple of painters and stuff like that. So uh, you might think about it. All right, that's it.